today I want to talk about judges feedback. It's competition season and I think this is something that as coaches we can do a much better job of. Um, I'm going to give a few tips for coaches but I also got some great advice for um, judges as well and as always I'm open to feedback. I by no means think that I know everything. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Coaches, what's worked well for you? Judges, what do you find works well? Um, what don't you like about what judges say? Um, judges, what don't you like about how the coaches approach getting judges feedback? I mean, it's, yeah, it's a really big process um, when you think about it. And it happens in a very short period of time. So I'm hoping that by the end of this video, you'll get a few insights on how to make the process go more smoothly and hopefully you'll get a lot of benefit out of your interaction um, judge coach coach judge all right number one tip is actually go go for judges feedback I don't know how many people just don't go oh well, I don't have time I'm too rushed you need to get this judges feedback even the last for me I made this error several several times it's the last competition of the year I'm not swimming this routine next year uh, I'm not coaching this routine next year, so you don't go for feedback. It's even more important to go at that point because I find as coaches, we kind of have the same choreography trends that we do and the same templates we kind of work off of year after year. So if you go after your last competition, this might help bring more clarity into the common errors that you're making. And you also find out things that you're doing really well that you want to maintain. Okay. Make sure though that you go at an appropriate time and place for the judges. Number one thing I would, um, when you first approach a judge, I'd introduce yourself, right? Um, judges don't necessarily know who you are, right? And vice versa. So have an introduction there if you need to. And then immediately ask the judge, is now a good time? Because often the judges are overworked at a competition and they're running off to another event and they need to prep for the next event. So ask, is this a good time? And then if it's not, follow up with, well, if not now, when's a good time? Because they can keep their sheets, right? And then you can come back at a later time and get some feedback from them. Very important, ask them what they were judging. Were they on the artistic panel? Were they execution? Their feedback will make more sense if you know what your judge was judging, okay? Also, where in the pool were they judging from? This will make a huge difference because we always coach from typically a certain spot, so we always see it from that viewpoint. But if the judge is on the opposite side of the pool and a little bit further down, their viewpoint is gonna to be totally different. So it's important to know where that judge was so you can get a full picture of what they're seeing. Number four, think about what your goals were for the season. And so when you're going to your judge, make sure that you have that in mind, right? So if my team, our goal was to have um, fantastic execution on figures and, or on our um, patterns in our routine, and we wanted to get sevens, if we're not getting sevens on execution, we might ask, hey, what did you think about our patterns and our pattern changes? What do we need to do to get the next mark up, right? I'd often do that too, is, um, especially when, you, when they're, you see their score and I would ask them, what did you give my routine? Um, don't ask about anyone else. That's not any of your business. Ask about your own routine. That's what you're there for. So if you get scores like 6.7, oh, okay, well, what do you think I need to do to get up to the seven, right? And then they'll give you some more specific feedback on what they thought that you could do. This tip is for the judges. Judges, you probably already know this, but coaches can be very attached to their routines. And so it's hard sometimes for the coaches to take the feedback and actually, um, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess detach their emotions because they have so much vested in this routine that 
it feels like a personal attack. So if you're saying, okay, blah, 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 and it's like, oh my gosh, you think my routine sucks or I'm not a good choreographer. So just be mindful that for some coaches that exists for them. So going for feedback can be a bit scary because you're, it feels like you're attacking them. Okay. This can be especially true of brand new coaches. I can remember, I don't know, I was coaching for maybe two years and I went for judges feedback and the judge said to me, there was absolutely nothing original in your routine, Vanessa. And I remember just being so upset by that comment and thinking, well, well, that's great. Like what kind of coach am I if I can't come up with, you know, like this great routine. So judges be mindful of who you're talking to, right? Um, it should be fairly obvious when you go up to the coach, what kind of coach you're going to be talking to, but it's always good to keep in mind that we're all human and it hurts sometimes when you get some negative feedback. On that note, judges give constructive feedback, not destructive feedback. If the patterns were awful, how about trying to reframe that? So, hey, I really enjoyed lap one patterns, but as the routine goes on, your execution score is dropping because you need more accuracy in the patterns, right? That's a more constructive way to say the exactly the same thing that you're trying to um, get across. I love this correction. Give feedback that's consistent with the language and the terminology that's found in the FINA manuals and the rule books. I think that would help educate the coaches and make sure that everyone's speaking the same language. Even go a step further, we could use diagrams and drawing um, out things to help um, carry the points home. This might be more, I guess, helpful when it's um, for figures, but it could help be helpful, say, in routines for patterns or pool patterns, things like that. It's, uh, I think it's a really good point because we all think in pictures. Right? So if we had more visual representation of our feedback, maybe that would help create better routines and um, better results in figures moving forward. And figures, organize your comments under like design and control. Make sure it's really clear where the comments are coming from. And that's all the tips that I have for um, giving judges or judges giving the coaches feedback. My number one rule that I want to end for the coaches, coaches, you need to go for judges feedback and be willing to actually listen. I have heard lots of times I've been in the room afterwards listening to other coaches get feedback and I know for sure that they went in there just because, yeah, it looks good to go talk to the judges and um, yeah, just go, you know, introduce yourself, whatever play the game, but they actually aren't even listening to feedback. Most commonly here, yeah, 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 I know, I know. Oh yeah, I know. Oh, you saw that too. So make sure you're willing to listen what they're telling you. If you're actually listening, you might hear something that you can improve your routines, your figures with. Okay. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any additional feedback, I'd love to hear it. Um, make sure that you Put uh, comments in the comment section. Feel free to email me. Um, you can contact me, Vanessa, at theonlinesynchrocoach.com. You can check me out on Instagram or message me on Facebook. Doesn't really matter. I catch all of those. Yeah, and I'd love to hear what you have to think. And good luck at your competition and go for judges' feedback. Okay, check you later.